Hi there, I'm Sorin and today I'm gonna show you how to set up an A-B test using OmniConvert. This here is our homepage and on it we'd like to A-B test a new headline and a different color for the CTE button right here. Doing so, we think we can convince more users to sign up for a free trial account. To start, let's log in into our OmniConvert account. Once logged in, you land on the dashboard. Here you can see the results of your testing activity so far. Now let's go to A-B testing. This here is your A-B testing experiments listing page. In here you'll be able to see all your A-B tests experiments being active, expired or paused. To create a new A-B test, just click on new A-B test button right here. Let's start by adding a new title to our experiment. Now, you must enter the URL of the page you want to edit. In our case, it's the home page, so we will leave it like this. By default, the platform adds the URL of the website you are on in your account. In here, you can also add the idea behind your experiment. This will help you in the future to identify what was the purpose of this experiment. Once you click on create experiment, the editor is loading the page in the background. To start applying the modifications, click on a new variation here. Once the variation has been added, you'll see that all the elements that can be modified will be highlighted with a blue border. Let's start with the headline. To do so, click on the text, go to edit element and change text. Select the old copy and paste in the new one. Click on save to apply the modification. As soon as you'll save a modification, OmniConvert will save it into the variation and can be found under variation code window, as you can see here. If you have knowledge of jQuery commands or JS, you can also apply the modifications by writing code in this window here. Now let's modify the color on the CTE button. To do so, just click on the button, go to Edit Element, CSS Style. In this window, go to Color and Background, and from the background color, let's modify it into orange. Click Save to apply the modifications. After making all the changes, you must also set up goals for this campaign. At first, We'll set up the click goals from here and later, later on I'll show you how to add the other ones. To add an on-click goal, click on the CT button, go to on-click actions and track clicks. We must add a name for this goal and if you'd like also a description for later use. Once that's done, we move to the next step which is audience. By default, in the audience step, OmniConverse enters the URL that you've loaded into the editor in the first place. In our case, it's the home page. In here, you can select from multiple conditions based on what is the purpose of your experiment. In case you want your experiment to run on multiple pages at once, like on the product pages of your e-commerce store, use either URL contains and enter the value that is similar to all the product pages or URL starts with. You also have the possibility to exclude certain URL pages if you don't like the experiment to appear on them also. Below, you have the segmentation option. In case you want to target a certain segment of your visitors, you can create and assign a new one from here. You can either select from the list of already made segments or create a new one. Now let's go to traffic allocation and goals step. Moving this blue slider here allows you to select the percentage of visitors that you want to include in this experiment. Below, you can allocate the traffic between control and variation. This part here is assigned to goals. By default, the platform adds the three main goals important for your experiments, which are bounce rate, engagement and the sell goal. Here, you can see the on-click goal that we've added earlier 
If you want to add or create a new goal, just click on this button here. Next, we go to scheduling. On this page, you can set a start and end date and also select the option to receive an email when the experiment has ended. Under advanced settings, you have the possibility to exclude days, hour intervals or time zones. Now everything is set, so you can hit publish. Congratulations! The final step is to install the tracking code and you're all set to go.